Hi, I'm Kemba Frederick, an occupational therapy student at Texas Women's University, and today I will demonstrate how to administer the Coleman Evaluation of Living Skills, or CALS. The CALS is a tool used in the assessment process to determine the levels of independence of a person and to make recommendations for appropriate living situations. It identifies areas in which a person can perform and areas in which a person needs assistance. The KELS assesses 17 living skills characterized under five main areas. Self-care, safety and health, money management, transportation and telephone, and work and leisure. The KEL combines interview and task performance items. Setup, administration, and scoring can be completed in 30 to 45 minutes. Hello, Mr. Kardashian. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm Kimber Frederick, and I'll be your occupational therapist today. Nice to meet you. Okay. Well, Mr. Kardashian, before we start, what would you like to be called? You can call me Rob. Rob? Okay, Rob. Okay, now, Rob, the purpose of this assessment um, is to assess your, um, your basic living skills. And what we're going to do is a skills assessment. Now, this is probably going to take 30 to 45 minutes. Now, if there's ever a time that I ask you a question you don't understand, please feel free to stop me and we'll go ahead and take it from there, okay? Okay. All right. The reading and writing section is used to obtain information that is supplemental to the actual evaluation. While it is not used to determine the client, that the client can live independently, it can provide the evaluator with valuable information about the client's level of cognitive function and reading and writing skills. The client is given a reading and writing form and a pencil and instructed to complete the form. First, do this. In the self-care section, the therapist observes conditions such as cleanliness, body odor, and appearance of clothing. The therapist then reviews the answers of each response on the reading and writing form. In the safety and health section, the client is shown four household situation pictures and asked to identify dangerous situations depicted in the pictures. The client is then asked to identify appropriate actions taken in the event of sickness or accidents. The client's knowledge of emergency numbers and the location of medical and dental facilities are also evaluated in this section. I'm going to show you four pictures. Now, these pictures, some of them have things that are dangerous and some of them have situations that are not dangerous. And I need, need you to be able to identify which are dangerous and which are not. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the pictures one by one. Okay, we'll start with this one. Okay. This one has the cord going across the wall plate, which would be dangerous. Okay. And this one? And this one, he's standing on a phone book, which okay. would probably be dangerous to get fall. Oh, okay. Okay, what about this one? And I don't really see anything dangerous in this picture. Okay. And let's take a look at this one. And this one has a hair dryer with the water running in the sink. Okay. Okay, Rob, what I'm going to do right now is ask you about how you would respond to the following situations, okay? Okay. Okay, what would you do for yourself if you were sick or if you had a cold? I would probably take some cold medicine and rest. Okay. Okay. What would you do if you had if you burned yourself and the wound became infected? Uh, probably go see the doctor. Okay. And what would you do if you suddenly started to have a severe to have severe chest pains or shortness of breath? Call an ambulance, baby. Okay. In an emergency, what number would you call? And I have the phone book if you need to look it up. I would call 911. Okay. 
If you needed to see a doctor, where would you go? I would go see uh, Dr. Pepper in the medical center. Okay. And if you needed to see a dentist, where would you go? I would go see Dr. Dre in the city of Compton. Okay. In the money management section, the client is evaluated on the following criteria. The use of money in purchasing items, obtain and maintain source of income, budgeting of money for food, budgeting of monthly income, the use of banking forms, and payment of bills. Okay, Rob, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you $2. Okay. Now, with this $2, you're going to purchase this deck of cards from me. Right. Now, this deck of cards costs $1.58, and that's including tax. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. Okay. Thank you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this amount of change. Now, I want you to tell me if that is a correct amount of change. It looks like it's a nickel short. A nickel short. Okay, so no, it's not? No. Okay. So I'm going to give you this dollar bill. Okay. And with this dollar bill, I'm going to ask you to purchase this bar of soap. Now, keep in mind this bar of soap costs 23 cents. So I'm going to give you this bar of soap and you will purchase it for a dollar. And what I'm going to give you is this amount of change. Okay. Is that the correct amount of change? Yes, it looks correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, what is your source of income? I'm a talent agent at Kardashian Enterprises. Okay. And do you plan on returning to work there? Yes, I'll probably return on Monday. Okay. How much money do you spend a month for food for yourself? Probably about $200. Okay. And what is your monthly income? About $5,000. Okay. Okay, I'm going to provide you with this form. And what I want you to do is I want you to list how much money you spend on the following items listed on the form. Rob, do you have a checking account right now? Yes. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to make a check out. I'm going to give you this check. And I want you to make a check out to Safeway for Record it in the proper place. Okay. All right, Rob, I'm going to hand you this bill. What is the amount due? Forty-three dollars and eleven cents. Okay. When is this bill due? It's due on August 4th. And how would you pay for this bill? I would pay with my debit card. Okay. In the transportation and telephone section, the client is evaluated on his ability to be mobile within his community and on his basic knowledge of tra the transit system. The client must also demonstrate competency in the use of phone and phone books. Okay, how do you get from place to place in um, Calabasas? I drive. Okay, and when was the last time you drove? This morning. Okay. Now, Rob, if you needed to take the bus a place that you haven't been before, mm -hmm. how would you do that? I would check the uh, bus schedule online. Oh, okay. The place is phone book, just in case you need to use it. Okay. Now, can you tell me the number for directory assistance or information? 411. Okay. Okay. Now, um,
can you tell me the number? Can you find in the phone book the number for Far West Taxi? Yes. Is 832-279-8961. Okay. Okay, Rob, this is a number for the IMAX theater. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to use this telephone mm -hmm. and I want you to call the number for the IMAX theater and I want you to get the date or, or the date and time of the first showing. Okay. Well, the first showing is at 10.30 tomorrow. What date? October 27th. Okay. In the work and leisure section, plans for future employment and leisure and activity involvements are assessed. Now, Rob, what do you do in your leisure time? Um, I like to hang out with friends and family, uh, watch sports, and play golf with my uh, stepdad, Bruce. Okay. Now, when was the last time you um, hung out with friends and family? Uh, last weekend at my sister's wedding. Okay. And watch sports? When was the last time you did that? Probably every day. Every day? Yesterday. yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the last thing you listed was play golf. When was the last time you golfed? Last Sunday. Last Sunday. Mm -hmm. With Bruce? Yes. Okay, Rob, let's go ahead and discuss the results of your Kells assessments. Okay. Okay, now it looks like it's you scored independence on all of the levels. So at this point, I will not be recommending occupational therapy. Okay. But it was very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. All righty. Thank you.